American Dan Cloud has been in the education business for 30 years. During this time, he spent over two decades in China. Dan is in charge of a three-year program that preps students in China to attend undergraduate degree programs overseas. I asked him how he views the United States' latest restrictions on Chinese students associated with the People's Liberation Army from entering the country. Anything that um, stifles or lessens the exchange of ideas um, is detrimental. You know, the U.S. loudly proclaims that um, it believes in individual uh, expression, um, the free exchange of ideas. And a ban like this just is, does exactly the opposite. A parent of an 11th grade student who has to decide early next year on an undergraduate destination feels the same way. But... We will keep tabs on the situation. If Chuan further claps down on undergraduate courses in the future, we will then choose other English-speaking countries. But since the impact now on undergraduate studies is minimal, I'd still want to send my son to America. While there are worries about the COVID-19 pandemic worldwide, especially in the U.S., both Olivia and Deng Chen, whose families are not related to the military, still want to go to America in 2021. There's no doubt that, in my mind, that the U.S. has more to lose from this ban than China does. It's not really a zero-sum game. But that being said, the U.S. lacks um, professionals in the STEM areas. Um, science, technology, engineering, and math. And the U.S. has traditionally attracted, done everything it can to attract talented people in these areas. So the U.S. has a lot that it could potentially lose from this, yes. Official statistics show that while the number of students from China studying in the United States has tripled in the last 10 years to about 370,000 in 2018-2019, the growth rate across the same period has been slowing year on year. Some in the education field like Dan believe that using the existing intellectual property rights laws in the U.S. would seem the logical way to tackle America's concerns in this regard rather than just implementing a blanket ban on any group of students entering the U.S. Wei Lin Tang, CGTN, Chengdu.